Alright guys, just another update on my overclocking progress on my Sandy Bridge testbed. Um, so for newcomers, it's a Asus PAP67 EVO with a Core i7-2600K, 4GB of G-Skill Trident, 1600MHz, SLI GTX 460s, and a NMX Revolution 1250W. I'm sorry the light's a bit bad in, in this room, but I just want to show you the water box that it's cooled by. So only the CPU is being cooled. The water block is a Swiftake Apogee XT. So there's the water box. Check out the videos on my YouTube channel, or the other videos, um, for more details on this hardware. It's a beast of a water box. Total overkill for the CPU. Anyway, so I've managed to reach 5.3 gigahertz. Um, so I, I made a video when I reached 5 gigahertz, but I got 5 gigahertz 24/7 stable. Um, so Prime 95 and Lynx stable. Basically, whatever you throw at it, perfectly stable. And the temps were maxing out at like 85 degrees, so it was still acceptable temperatures. Um, now what I've had to do is increase the CPU core voltage to 1.6 volts so memory is at 1.65 and I've increased the PLL to 1.85 temperature is my barrier at 5.3 gigahertz I cannot go any further because it's just getting too hot it's going over um, nearly hitting 100 degrees Celsius but 5.3 is um, not prime and link stable but I can run a couple of benchmarks including Super PI um, so I ran 32 megabytes and got 6 minutes and 47 seconds well almost 48 seconds uh, which is pretty insane and I'll just run um, Signbench as well just to show you that it's stable well reasonably stable um, basically Prime95 and um, and links just yeah make the CPU too hot it goes over 95 degrees and that is unacceptable any temps over 85 degrees um, is risky so do not do this to your CPU unless you're willing to risk your hardware um, so I'll just show you there it is 5.3 53 times 100 very simple to overclock the um, Sandy Bridge platform, the K-series processors. So there we go, it's finished. 10.18. I was getting 9.8 before. I'll just show you um, CPU Z as well. And also AI Suite in a minute. So I'll just um, run Super PI again to get it to go up to 5.3 gigahertz. Sorry, just uh, just a sec. There we go. So 5.3, as you can see, it just went up there. 1.6 volts. And I'll just show you AI Suite 2 just to confirm it um, so you'll see a lot of people out there that have reached these clocks even on air um, but the thing is you don't see them running benchmarks you just see them booting into windows and that's it and that's because if they did run benchmarks their CPU would be overheating um, because even on a water cooling system like I've got which is total overkill at 5.3 I'm reaching 100 degrees Celsius on the CPU so if I want to go any further than 5.3 oh sorry I'm running 1.62 volts yeah any further than 5.3 and I'm gonna to have to go something better than water cooling for example liquid nitrogen um, so basically yeah heat is my barrier um, and nothing else
So this is AI Suite 2 and they've integrated all the um, ACES software into one app which is really cool. So I've also got all my VRM settings to the absolute maximum. So basically settings I've changed is vCore, PLL, DRAM voltages, uh, CPU multiplier to 53, um, I've disabled CPU spread spectrum and I've increased all the VRM settings to the absolute maximum. So 5.3 gigahertz, if I progress any further than this, I'll make another video. I think the maximum that I could boot into Windows 2 is probably 5.5 gigahertz. Um, but that would I wouldn't be able to run any benchmarks um, at those settings. Alright, thanks for watching guys.